Nyiba district, like any other area across the country, has not been spared from deforestation due to cutting down of trees. Most communities that are involved in the activity do so for charcoal business to earn a living. But slowly this trend is changing as many stakeholders such as the Zambia Integrated Forest Landscape Project have partnered with government to sensitize people on the effects of deforestation. They have given a grant of over 1 million kwacha to Mwansanika Cooperative, a community forest group in Nyimba district. We have warned against cutting trees. When a person cuts a tree, we charge them the price. The members of the cooperative have also been taught skills in planting trees by the forestry department. This was demonstrated to Green Economy and Environment Permanent Secretary John Smoko when he visited the area. We would like to encourage you to continue your work because it is good. Mwansanika Cooperative members are growing fruit trees and vegetables so that this can be a source of income away from charcoal business. This development has pleased the Zambia Integrated Forest Landscape Project, the funders of the initiative. One of the sites that uh, makes us very happy whenever we come here because uh, it's a community um, forest management group that has put aside more than 13,000 um, hectares of land so that they can protect that forest. And as an alternative, they want to have horticultural activities like what you can see here behind. Um, they have started planting fruit trees. Patricia Banda, ZNBC News, in Nimba. Remember to hit the like button, place a comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.